Afternoon guys, Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. I had something I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, I think everybody that watches my videos knows I'm a big fan of the guys like Nesmick, George Washington Sears, and Horace Kephart. Horace Kephart being another writer of the outdoors, another great classic woodsman. Uh, lived from the 1863-ish, I believe it was, to 1931. Life cut short by an automobile accident, but he was originally a librarian who just fell in love with the outdoors and he retired at age 42 and moved to North Carolina to the Smoky Mountains and lived out most of the rest of his life uh, just studying nature, hunting, fishing, living in the woods in a small cabin and writing about the people of that area. And he's got some very, very good writings. One of his main books that's a standard in the industry is called Camping and Woodcraft, not to be confused with Woodcraft and Camping, by George Washington Sears. It's called Camping and Woodcraft by Horace Capart. And the book actually is about this thick, whereas Nesmuk's book's only about that thick. And it has a lot of good information in it. I suggest you read it. You can find it online for free in PDF format, or you can buy it in reprint form from places like Amazon. It's not very expensive to buy. Um, there's a website dedicated to Horace Capart on the internet. It says Horace Capart Revealing an Enigma. And there's a museum that's dedicated to him that has a whole lot of his things that were artifacts that he had or things that he used as a woodsman that are in this museum that you can look at and study and see what they were. And one of the things that's very interesting that I saw in that museum online, and they've got like an online museum that you can look at as well as go to the museum, is a lantern, a folding candle lantern that he carried. And I, I have one that was given to me by one of my students, a um, very good friend of mine named Al, I'll leave his last name out of this video, brought me this replica, this remake, reproduction of this Horace Kephart lantern, which is called the Stonebridge lantern. The only place I found online that you can purchase a similar lamp to this, actually almost exact replica of Horace Kephart's folding lamp, is from a company called Garrett Wade. You can look them up online if you're interested in purchasing one of these lamps. They're about $45. Like I said, mine was given to me as a gift. Now, looking at the lamp compared to the Horace Kephart original lamp, the only difference I can really see in the two is that the original was made out of tin, and this one's made out of brass. Other than that, even down to the panes in the lantern itself, it's almost an exact replica. And I'm going to get that out and give you a close look at it right now, so stay with me. Okay, so this is the box that comes in. It has directions on it, how to use the lamp. And the only reason I know it came from Garrett Wade is because it says Garrett Wade right here. I looked him up online. Otherwise, I'd have probably never found this thing because, like I said, I think they're the only company that carries this lamp. And you can see on the top it says, it's even got it stamped in the top, the Stonebridge Automatic Folding Lantern and part number. And then it has the patent dates from 1900, from 1903, 1904, 1905 and 1906 U.S. patents on it, and they're stamped into the brass. And the way this works is it has, a it has one clip that clips over it, and it lifts up and folds completely out, just like this. You push the bottom down, which has the candle holder inside, and the top folds down over the top of that and stands up, and you clip it in the front right there, and then it hangs just like that. And this is the Stonebridge Lantern, and it's almost an exacting replica of the one that Horace Kephart carried. That's what I thought was so neat about it, and that's why I really wanted to share it with you guys. It's also got a hole in the back here where you can hang it by a nail, I would assume, on a wall if you would like to do that. But it's a very nice lantern that is actually foldable so that you can put it in your pack if you'd like to do something like that. And to do that, you just fold everything back up inside itself. The whole thing flaps over and folds down. Now, the one Horace Kephart had that is in the museum had a canvas sleeve that went over it with a button flap, just a pocket, basically. This one does not come with that, but you could easily have something like that made if you wanted to. But it's a very interesting piece of history, a reproduction of history, just like my flintlock and things like that. But I wanted to show that to you guys because I thought that was a really neat, novel idea of the old-time way that they thought about ultralight or compact packing was to have a folding lantern like this. Like I said, this is the Stonebridge Automatic Folding Lantern. You can find this at Garrett Wade. I think it's GarrettWade.com is the name of the website. He seems to be an importer. He has a lot of things on his site, but that's the only place I've seen this lantern for sale.
Guys, I'm Dave Camber at the Pathfinder School, and I appreciate you joining me out here for another couple of videos today. Out here at the station camp, you know, I like to do videos on historical things, historical references and things of that nature. So if you get bored with them, just let me know. <laughs> I appreciate you joining me for this video. I thank you for everything you do for me, for my school, for my family, for all my sponsors, friends, and affiliates, and I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.